Hello everyone, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to talk about Design X Helix Curve. My name is Hayati and I'm an Applications Engineer at here at Rapid Scan 3D. And today we have this uh, gear, Helix gear, and we're going to reconstruct. And let's go ahead and start with auto segmentation of a part. And then after that, we're going to create two axes perpendicular to each other. We're going to find the center of intersection of these two. One and two. And then we're going to accept. Once we complete this, what we're going to do is we're going to start sketching from the top view. To be able to create this spiral uh, shape, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have a starting point. And I'm going to anchor this, pull it down, and pull this one and snaps on and then create another bridge between two that looks good just gonna add it I'm gonna line in the almost center Once I'm done, I can move forward. Now let's go ahead and insert model and helix. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a starting point for the helix. And then when we auto guide, opens up. Um, if you look at it, we're just going to select the mid arrow and reverse it. It opens up the new folder at the bottom, the new viewport, and we can change these heights, radi radial, diameter, and pitch. So if I move it, you can see the numbers are changing. Now we're going to change that diameter and pitch. I'm basically adjusting it as I go along. There's no special trick to it. You just have to uh, match that curve that sweeps all the way down. And... Slowly, I'm changing the numbers, and then I'm going to change the direction of it. <clears throat> and if you notice, I got really close to that sweet path. So I can change that if you move it up. See, it's actually moved away from it. And moved out. So my arrow moves. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this down again. That polyline you see at the bottom is your guideline. It helps you to figure out what type of sweep path this part was constructed. The reason you would want to use this command is if you don't have any documents uh, and you need to reconstruct this if the part is broken and this is a great tool to use it. And I'm going to extend the height and then pass through the model. Perfect. Now these are my numbers. Um, when you transfer this to a SOLIDWORKS or any other software, 
it's transferable. It's a 3D sketch. Um, but what you can do is you can take those numbers and then you can recreate your the values that you get it from DesignX and plug it into SolidWorks and you can definitely match it exactly. So if I do this path, you will notice that it's not going to fit perfectly because it has the curve and curved sketches. It's not really sweeping properly. So the next thing what I'm going to do is I have to create another uh, sketch for the path. The outer shape of the sweep is perfectly matched. So the next thing what we're going to do, we're going to take back uh, from inside. So let's go ahead and create another sketch from internal area. So let's just copy that. And then once we're done, we can loft these to each other and we can capture that curvature uh, sweep. It will be really difficult to create this by just measuring tools <clears throat> assistance. So I'm going to go back there again and I'm going to click that point path. I'm going to reverse this and start point. I'm going to click that point and then change the direction and then estimate. Now this time I'm going to take all the way from the internal crest and I'm going to punch the same numbers and then I'm going to adjust as I go along. If you notice that similar numbers but they're not really fitting to that curve. Once I'm done, I rotate my image and zoom in as close as possible. And then I can change this to, yep, 2.4 and change that to 7.2 inches pitch. And then I'm going to accept this. Now I have two sketches that I can use to loft it to each other. I'm going to extend that a little bit more so I can get a nice long line it's similar to that other one. That's perfect. So this is hypothetically I'm just going to loft these and see how my path is connected. It looks pretty good but you still have you're missing the the actual uh, guide curve. So once we complete that guide curve uh, what we can do is we can just transfer everything to SolidWorks and then we can continue um, finishing the rest of the part. And if you look at it, it is really close, close enough that I can modify it. So if I know the pitch and radial dimensions and height, I can um, definitely work way around and then recreate reconstruct my geometry because you only need the one fin and then you can count how many are around and then you can recreate the whole model so that's about it thank you very much for joining us today